Hey everyone, welcome back to another wonderful video here at Hack the Box. I'm Dark, as always, your host here. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look uh, and continuing, rather, our look at the starting point uh, series of uh, boxes on the Hack the Box main platform. Last video we went ahead and conquered uh, Meow, very straightforward box, very fun box. Again, great if you want to get started. Uh, if you haven't seen that and this uh, you're finding this video is your first one, I definitely recommend checking uh, hopping back to that first video and starting there. Uh, in this video, we're going to go through the second box and starting point. That is fun. And let's go ahead without further ado and dive right in. Uh, you can see that I've gone ahead and spawned the machine on the left, and then I've gone ahead and spawned my poem box there on the right. If you haven't done so and haven't connected to the Hack the Box network, I would recommend pausing the video now, but we're going to go ahead and move into task one. Uh, task one. What does the three letter acronym FTP stand for? Uh, so FTP, that's something that you could go ahead and look up. Uh, Googling that would get you straight to the answer. And that answer is gonna be file transfer protocol. Not spelled with an A, there we go. File transfer protocol allows us to transfer um, files using the FTP protocol as you know it would be assumed uh, between a client and a uh, an FTP server very easy to set up very lightweight very secure uh, and we're gonna see that we actually will talk about the secure version of it here in a moment uh, moving into text two which port does FTP or does the FTP service listen on usually again this is something you could find just by googling it uh, but we just know it off the top of our heads because we're awesome hackers. That is port 21 if you missed it. Moving into task three, what acronym is used for the secure version of FTP? Well, this is pretty straightforward, especially if you've seen some other secure protocols and their non-secure versions in that whole naming convention. Uh, that is gonna be SFTP, and that is the secure version of uh, the FTP protocol that uses encryption. Now, uh, it is encouraged that if you're gonna set something up like that at home, use SFTP just because it is more secure by default. Going into task four, what is the command we can use to send an ICMP echo request to test our connection to the target? Uh, we covered this in the last video. This is just sending the ICP, or ICMP echo request rather, uh, and that is ping. Uh, and it's a great way that you can troubleshoot, great way you can make sure that you're connected to the Hack the Box network or maybe make sure that uh, whatever box you are uh, interrogating or evaluating is actually online and you can reach it. Moving on to task five. From your scans, what version is uh, of FTP is running on the target? Let me go ahead and open up a terminal and we can go ahead and scan our target to see what version is there. So in the last video, I ran a map with this flag, the lowercase s, dapital C. That is the scripts flag. It's just a flag I really enjoy using with nmap, and it's going to give us some additional information that is helpful here in just a moment. Let me go ahead and type the machine IP. And again, because these are both on the Hack the Box network, this is going to be a pretty quick scan. And there we go. Sure enough, we got all of our information back right away. Uh, and you can see there's a little bit of additional information underneath the service name. And that is because we used this script tag. Uh, so if we look below, port 21 is open uh, and that has FTP as we would imagine. And we have some additional information from the scripts running. Uh, we can see that this FTP server is particularly insecure because anonymous login has been allowed. Uh, that means just anyone can log in and it looks like we are allowed to pull any files down that we find. Uh, it doesn't look like we have write permissions, but we do have permissions to read anything. Uh, we are looking for the version number of FTP though, and it looks like that is uh, VSFTP 3.0.3. .3. We can go ahead and copy that. And there we go. Task six. From your scans, what operating system type is running on the target? Uh, typically, if you see a uh, an FTP server, it's probably running on a Linux host. Uh, in this case, it uh, looks like it's running on a Unix host, just judging from the service version that is running, but we're gonna go ahead and confirm that uh, by using the dash O flag. Oh, well, hold on. 
We'll use it with root privileges by running sudo. The uh, host fingerprinting flag dash uh, capital O is going to give us a lot of information about the operating system um, that we are targeting. And in this case, it should tell us what operating system or at least what family of OS is running on the uh, system that we are evaluating. Let's see. Uh, so we can see that it looks like it is a Linux system. Uh, and I'm not seeing it here explicitly, but judging from this being four characters, it looks like this is a Unix uh, family operating system. That's just the broader term for Linux computers that we're looking at. Uh, test seven. What is the command we need to run in order to display the FTP client help menu? Uh, so we have the end of the command. Um, we can probably just guess this one it is FTP, not dash P dash H. Generally speaking, running anything, and we'll make that a little bit bigger, running anything with death, uh, dash H is going to get you the help menu for it. Uh, and that is really helpful, especially if you uh, downloaded a new tool or maybe you're using uh, a new client uh, or something that's pre-installed on uh, Parrot that uh, you want to learn how it works. Or maybe it's something you haven't used in a while and uh, you need to look up the command formatting. That's something I certainly have to do quite a bit. Looking at task eight, what uh, username is, uh, let's see, what username that is used over FTP when you want to log in without having an account? So what username can we use to log in without uh, having an account on the system? Uh, and we actually got a hint at this earlier. If we scroll up, looking at the output of our dash uh, the scripts output, uh, we can see that anonymous login is enabled. That is uh, the login type that we are looking for. That allows you to log in without having an account as you know would be implied by you know the term anonymous. Task nine, what is the response code we get for the FTP lo uh, message login successful? Let's go ahead and try logging in. So we can do FTP and then let's find our server IP. 129-32-21. We need a 10 at the beginning there. And then we need to enter in anonymous and then no password. Uh, and it looks like the code that we are presented with for login successful is 230. We scroll down to task nine. And there we go. Task 10. There are a couple of commands we can use to list the files and directories available on the FTP server. One is dir. Uh, what is the other way, uh, common way that we can list files on a Linux system? Uh, this is ls. And we can see if we run ls here, we can see everything that is in the directory. And sure enough, uh, as we would have guessed, there is a flag.txt file in this directory as well. Task 11. What is the command used to download the file we found on the FTP server? That is going to be the command get. And if you haven't used FTP before, if you type help, it's going to give you a list of commands. You can go ahead and type this command and you can do get and then help. Oh, well, in that case, it did not give us more information, uh, but it was trying to get the file. Uh, in this case, what we want to do is get flag.txt, and that is going to download that file. And then all we need to do is type by. You can also type, I believe, exit. Uh, that will log you out of your FTP session. And now we can check and see. Sure enough, we do have our flag.txt downloaded. If we cat that, we can go ahead and copy that in and complete fun. And there we go. Awesome. And that is going to do it for fun. Uh, if you enjoyed this fun, there we go. Uh, get our celebration uh, for completing the box. If you enjoyed this, uh, definitely consider moving on to the rest of the starting point. There really is a lot of fun boxes here. And if this is something that you're looking at, maybe you've done a lot of stuff on Academy, you've gone through a number of modules and are looking for a way that you can get started here, starting point is definitely the answer. If you have any questions, as always, make sure that you join the Hack the Box Discord, ask on the Hack the Box forum. But until next time, I'll uh, see you then, and then happy hacking!